Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to my shack again. I know it's been a while since I've presented my last amplifier, maybe a year, but uh, the job didn't let me uh, enough free time to practice this whole hobby, so uh, that's why uh, this amplifier came so late. Uh, about one year ago, I guess, uh, or maybe not, uh, six, seven months ago, a friend sent me to repair uh, a Zatagi BV-2001. Well, the amplifier uh, was in quite good shape, but the tubes were out, uh, were destroyed completely. So, uh, knowing that those tubes EL-509 are uh, quite expensive for those times, and they are, uh, in the end, just television tubes, they were intended to be um, uh, sweep uh, tubes for color TVs, they will never be as rugged as a military uh, tube. So that's why I converted this uh, amplifier to a Russian military tube, Golf India 7 Bravo, uh, which is a, a metalloceramic tube that you can see here. And in the meantime, I will start the amplifier uh, the heating of the amplifier and uh, in this time that uh, it will heat I will present you the amplifier. For the moment uh, we are having only 12 volts uh, uh, at the heater. So, here we have the two uh, big transformers uh, for, the anodic, uh, for the anodic voltage. Uh, they are bu uh, built in Czech Republic and they are very, very good quality. They are delivering 400 volts each, as you can see there and here. Uh, so, uh, uh, connected together 800 volts, uh, which is doubled uh, with this doubler uh, and filtered um, to obtain uh, at the end uh, about uh, 2100 volts uh, anodic voltage of this uh, tube. The tube you can see it here. Uh, it's a Golf India 7 Bravo with uh, replaced um, uh, cooler. It's a PC cooler uh, having a copper uh, uh, pill at the middle. Uh, so the heat transfer is very, very good. Um, the cooling system it's only one PC cooler nothing more it doesn't require anything more than that because um, the the cooler the original aluminium cooler is very very good and the heat is easily um, uh, dissipated here we having uh, the filament transformer and the relay transformer filament and relay transformer um, we're having the bias transistor uh, I'm using a simulated uh, Zener uh, power uh, diode uh, using a PNP uh, Darlington transistor. The input circuit, it's a monoband for CB. It's a P uh, filter at the input to ensure um, uh, no SWR. Uh, uh, practically the amplifier is uh, perfectly matched with the transceiver using this, uh, this um, P uh, filter and antenna tuner in the meantime. There you have a, a radio frequency Vox uh, transistor. It's detecting the input of the RF and it's switching automatically the amplifier in transmitting mode. Here you can see uh, the um, uh, antenna relay, which is a quite strong relay. It's an Omron uh, with uh, silver nickel uh, plates, uh, able to withstand about 450-500 watts uh, uh, delivered by the amplifier. The P filter, well, I don't know how Zetagi made it. Uh, they were using a very thin uh, wire uh, for the coil and only three turns, uh, probably because of the very high parasitic uh, uh, capacity of those uh, EL509 tubes. But here with this metalloceramic tube, uh, I needed to replace uh, the whole P filter uh, using uh, copper, uh, four millimeter copper, um, four turns um, for the P filter. I tried to use uh, the variable capacitor, uh, which was uh, originally 
I had no chance uh, to use it. Uh, the original Zatagi uh, was uh, a plate uh, air uh, uh, variable capacitor which dis discharged all the time, just like a Christmas tree. So uh, it was impossible to be used. So I switched to a Jennings uh, vacuum capacitor. Uh, the load capacitor is the same. I, I uh, kept the, the original Zatagi load capacitor. And uh, on the load capacitor at the exit you can see of course uh, the RF detector for the power meter. So uh, I think the amplifier is uh, hot enough at this uh, time. So uh, yes it is not on standby anymore and we will start the anodic voltage. Here it is. It started. The transceiver is ready and we'll test this amplifier. For the beginning we'll see the input power which is, well, let's switch the scale. Uh, the input power is 30 watts. Okay, 30 watts. So, let's switch the amplifier on. Let's change the scale and let's see what we can have here. We'll try to make the tune in the same time. Well, not a good tune, but we'll start. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. There it is. And the plate. Four hundred twenty watts. So that's it. A Golf India Seven B. Four hundred twenty watts. Maybe a little bit more. Doesn't matter. Um, a little bit more than four hundred watts with thirty watts uh, at the input. So this is the. Yosif Visarionovich Stalin linear amplifier with Russian military tube Golf India 7B. So, thank you for watching. All the best from Romania. See you on the band.